Hi, welcome back to another pick a card reading. Um, I had had to take a break for this um weekend because I just felt energy energetically low and sad. I don't know what's going on with the collective. Maybe I was picking up on some weird energies, and um, I needed a break. And now I have another question in my head: What's their karma for hurting you or? just general what's their karma in this connection with you i have two files um i don't have an uh, an objective or something to put because i just i don't feel like i'm <laughs> putting anything in, uh, on it you can pick one of the two piles and i'll see you on your pile and let's see what's this about if you chose pile number one I have some channeled message and a book lyric and uh, a lyric and a book quote too. Um, what's their karma for hurting you, or what's their karma generally in this connection, or if it's a connect a karmic connection? I don't know. Let's see. So your person, their karma. Um, they are drained. <laughs> they were drained after dealing with the situation um maybe when they were in a, in this connection or maybe if they are still in the connection with you they f feel like um every time they hurt you that although um they are um the one causing the hurt and whatnot is that they were, were feeling energetically drained and that they were maybe pulled in different directs by other people and, and I feel like for what they've done to you maybe they will get their karma they will be used by other people the same way that they did you wrong and I don't think that the, that, that your person likes that um, you know when you get your, the, a taste of your own medicine uh, whether that's from coming from you or from from somebody else in their family or um or from friends is what I'm getting also strongly um they they won't like that at all because it's just going to be so emotionally draining they will be going through those situations they put you through I know it's it's like yo the karma you get from someone you give someone is going to get back at you tenfold. Um, I want to pick another clarifier. But yeah, I feel like they will be sad. Yes, also. And they will try to hold on onto, onto the, your connection, but it's no longer there. That's also what I'm kind of getting of, of this. Like, the connection is dead, but they are still holding on to it, hoping. And, and they're crying about it. I don't know. Maybe even if they're not crying physically, maybe internally they're just... I feel like they will feel such a sadness that they won't, they won't be able to explain it to themselves. And, and, and when, when it hits them, it clicks in their mind, um, they will understand just how... They will, they, there will be a thought in, the, in, in their mind that will be like, wow, this is what I put them through. This is how it feels like when they were trying to tell me that I was hurting them. And I don't think they will like it. I don't think they will like it at all. They will be like really emotionally drained by it. Whether that's being sad and trying to suppress those emotions with, I don't, I'm, I'm going to say it, getting high maybe. Um, they will have this, this loopy look on them. They will be depressed. I don't like, uh. I don't wish that upon anyone when you're when you're putting somebody through something and then that hits you back and then there's just there's just so many clogged up emotions and you're trying to make sense of them and you don't want to feel them so you numb yourself and I feel like their karma is going to be just like they, they won't know how to deal with that they will get hit back full force and they won't know how to deal with it so they will try and 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 numb the, the, the pain. <laughs> That's heavy. Okay, we have another card. Yes, 
they will be under a lot of pressure they they will feel everything they've put you through also whether that's from you or from somebody else it doesn't matter just know they will go through this thing maybe it's the the runner chaser type of energy in the twin flame that we have also uh it doesn't have to be twin flame uh but um when when they finally realize what they caused was coming from deep pain but you will not not tolerate it anymore because it's been enough they will maybe feel all the emotions you had to feel and then um they'll you know, they'll be even paranoid maybe you were at the point where you were just like paranoid with what they're doing and now they will feel that also because you're just maybe at a place where you're moving on and healing and they are going to get in that stage where you were you know those kind of stages when you break up with somebody and you're like i don't need them and the other person is devastated and that other person heals and then <laughs> the one who tried to suppress those feelings is going to be hit with those emotions and if they ever hurt you with somebody else i feel like you, you um they will feel the loss of you being happily with somebody else they will see it they will feel it they will they don't won't know what to do and i don't think i don't wish anyone that to be honest even if they deserve it because it's just not something beautiful to go through it can be beautiful pain if it helps you transform I want to look at the channel message. Tell me something so I know. You have my heart, soul and breath. I'm afraid I lost you for good. Yeah, see, this is again the type of um, guilt-ridden guilt uh, thoughts. I'm afraid I lost you for good. Tell me something so I know if there is something left to to save in this connection you have my soul heart and breath means that you you don't you aren't in the in the 3d with them because you're you were just fed up i think then we have the book quote you should be kissed often if time stands still move uh, the lyrics if time stands still move i will to you i would live a thousand lifetimes if it's you i'm sent to find see this talks about someone who's going to it's going to go through a lot a lot and they're going to regret ever putting you through that sometimes it takes tasting the, their own medicine to understand what you've put somebody else because listen somebody some sometimes when you're so in pain you're acting out of pain and fear and insecurities you hurt somebody else in the process because you're just you don't want to uh, be put in that situation where you're going to get hurt by someone. So you hurt someone, uh, your precious person to you, even if they were nothing but kind to you. So I feel like they will go through a deep regret when it hits them full force. I think, I think that's their karma. They're going to be faced with a lot of what they put you through with um maybe even maybe even from you yourself their karma will be that they won't be able to fix it they won't be able to have you anymore and that's going to quite literally mess them up mentally physically as i said i'm seeing in substance abuse also maybe they will numb their feelings with that and at, at this point, I'm just repeating the channel things, so messages. So I hope it resonated. I hope this helps uh, understand that, that they will get their karma no matter what. So see you on your pile. Uh, see, you, see, I'm sorry. On to the, on the next pile and do good today. Love and light. Hello pile number two, if you choose this, pick a card, welcome, and I want to see what their karma is for hurting you. I'll start off with a oracle card and then I'll move on to explaining what I think their karma will be. 
maybe get a clarifier and I have channeled messages and a book quote and a lyric because I feel like those just resonate so nicely sometimes okay their karma is kind of um, bittersweet sometimes when you just think that okay maybe I finally had done something right in my life with this connection but they ruined it because they were making brash decisions or they were trying to just be just thinking okay maybe there's something better on that and I think that that will eventually break break them down to a point no need to clarify because it's just so unclear their karma will be maybe something uh, of of a of a financial <laughs> kind of energy um where they'll lose maybe something financially i just want to see the clarifier maybe they they will go through financial finance maybe after they've hurt you or maybe after what they've done to you they've gone through so much shit <laughs> legally which can happen also they feel they will feel stuck in those maybe legal manners um maybe they they won't have that security they have with you they will maybe try and and find that feeling of home somewhere else and their karma is just like going to fuck them up um i think um yeah, I feel like it's going to be something illegal that's going to hit them. Maybe they, they've done something illegal and they will have to pay a fine. Or maybe they will, they will be at a verge of being successful at something. But then it doesn't work out. And I feel like your person is really, um, really focused on, on material things. And that's why their karma will be in material things. I don't know, it's... To be honest, when you are when you have, you don't have financial stability, it can fuck you up also. And I feel like, because I'm cursing, your person is going to be so mad at that. I have another clarifier just to... Um, just to clarify a bit more. But yeah, overall, it's just it's just they will have they will have a hard time recovering financially. Maybe even maybe even legally matters that will difficult that that will make it um, difficult uh, to go through your li everyday life, and I feel like um, they will be hit so harshly with this that they will have to look at themselves and change themselves they will be forced into change by legal manners financial issues and i feel like that's actually their karma they will they will realize okay i've done so much wrong with with people in my life that now i'm facing uh, i'm getting faced with with losing everything that i have <laughs> because i was so selfish i was so arrogant yeah it's not more so emotionally because i don't think that they are so grown emotionally to understand that but i feel like it's going to hit them right where it hurts them <laughs> in their finances in something legal maybe they've been been dealing with with substance abuse uh, or trying to um that was this was on the first pile also but there was like to numb the payment here it's like okay maybe that's their business and they are going to uh lose that they're going to lose their success you know when when everything goes wrong after you've you've lost uh or you've hurt somebody good-hearted and now that after that everything uh, is going to uh disappear and go for the shit 
and I feel like since I'm so hostile I feel like your person is going to just try and blame everyone else but it's not gonna work also you know when, when everything just doesn't go right like you will have my, he will have something they will have something sorry random get broken maybe they're, they're something in their house is going to get broken something I'm seeing my kitchen so I'm gonna say maybe something in the kitchen is going to burn off or I hope not maybe they're going to have to maybe their car is going to break down on the middle of the road or it's these everyday things that won't go as planned or according to what they want to go maybe they are they are just something who's who's a perfectionist and then there's stuff breaking all around them and that's just going to make them go crazy or not and it's going to be so stressful for them <laughs> And nothing will go quite right. That's what I get. Like they would, will try and say like, wow, I'm trying to, I almost had it. I always was successful in this. And then something happens that ruins that for them for the whole day. And then no, and then everything goes to, to shit. <laughs> I have to say it. So yeah, that's their karma for hurting you. I mean, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> I want to get 10 messages. Forever and always just this too when I'm alone and have space to breathe it hits me the worst. Maybe when they're then when they're seeing that something's broken down again and, it's, and they're just like not again. I wish so and so was there with me. It feels like when they're not there it's just everything goes to the drain. Childhood trauma, missing parents, abuse is a substance. See that's kind of somebody was egoistical things only about themselves and that's where they may, they're going to go through some major um, transformation also and their karma is just going to be like they will be hit with those constant um, things that they will just have to question themselves and they're, they're going to be like am I going crazy what's going on Ever since this person is gone, my specific person is gone from, from my life and I'm facing this and this. And it's, it's going to be so, um, and they're going to think it's so hard without them. Why have I ruined that? And then they're going maybe through transformational childhood trauma. Maybe that's one of the reasons why they are going, they hurt you and they're going through this, this karma they have to book quotes those who are heartless once cared too much okay that goes to correlation with their perfectionist they're arrogant they think that when you care too much and they got hurt and then now they have to just be heartless and just yeah they're just an arrog arrogant type of energy to it maybe one day you'll call me and tell me that you're sorry too Maybe they're expecting from you to reach them to the, to reach to them out too, or maybe that's what they're hoping. Because I don't think they they have the guts to face you. Or tell you what's going on because I feel like they're the type of person who would think they they will laugh at me if I tell them my problems because to me they are problems, but to somebody else maybe they are first world problems, <laughs> you know. And since they're the type of to laugh at somebody being in pain or suffering they feel like somebody else is going to do that too and yeah i think that's about it i hope it made sense i hope it resonated leave a comment if it does or if you find any suggestion um it was a quick kind of word i feel energetically really better and i feel like my words flow better and i'm getting more confident so i hope somebody appreciates that i'm putting still <laughs> something out here even if there are so many readers out there who are maybe at beta if you have some criticism please just share what i could do better or if i if you have suggestion on what videos you're I'll, I'll gladly take them so thank you for watching i hope it resonated i hope it helped do good today